Hello and welcome to Edu Sathi's lecture on logical consistency. Now this is a very confusing topic as we have a lot of logical connectives which are a little difficult to decipher what they actually mean. So make sure you pay too much attention in this video lecture. So what is logical consistency? A set of claims which are logically possible. Now the first thing we do in this lecture is defining logical connectives. In logical connectives the basic constituents are simple propositions or premises which are combined into complex propositions by means of some logical words like not, and, or and if. For example, if it rains the ground will get wet. It glitters only if it is cold. Either I like tea or coffee. So we'll take this logical connectives like if, only if, either and or one by one. Some of the useful tips throughout this video presentation. The first thing you have to do is to identify what is the cause and what is the effect. The second thing you have to think in your mind is, is the cause sufficient condition for the effect? That is, does the cause always result in the effect or just sometimes? The third condition is, is the cause a necessary condition but not sufficient for the effect to take place? That is, can the effect also take place because of some other cause or not? As we proceed with this video presentation, all these three things will be more clear. Let's take up the first connective here, which is if. So the kind of question that would be asked is if P then Q or another type can be Q if P. For example, if labor works hard, then the boss is happy. The ground gets wet when it rains. R is in the room whenever P is in the hotel. Ram will pass if he works hard. Now if, when, each time, whenever, every time, all of them belong to the same family. So we'll have the same set of rules for all these connectives. So the type of question is if cause then effect like here if labor works hard this is the cause and what is the effect that the boss is happy or whenever cause then effect. So R is in the room whenever P is in the hotel or we'll have effect whenever cause. So this is the effect here. R is in the room and the cause is that P is in the hotel. All of them mean the same. Let's look at on how to solve these questions. So we'll take the first example. The ground gets wet when it rains. So the first thing we do is we identify what is the cause and what is the effect. So it is pretty simple that the ground getting wet is the effect here and raining is the cause. So let's say that it rains, that there is this cause. Will the ground get wet? Yes, the ground will get wet. If it does not rain, will the ground get wet? I don't know because the ground can also get wet if I take a bucket of water and then throw in the ground. So the ground will get wet. So I don't know whether the ground will get wet if it rains or it does not rain. Now let's say that the ground is wet. Can we say that it had rained? No, we cannot because as I said, I, it might be that somebody took a bucket of water into the ground and that is why the ground was wet. Now the ground is not wet. Now we can certainly say that it had not rained because if it had rained, then the ground definitely would have got wet. So what is this condition here in terms of cause and effect? Whenever there is this cause which is raining if there is a cause then the effect would be certainly there if the cause is not there then we cannot say whether the effect has happened or not if the effect has occurred which means that the ground is wet we cannot say that it is because of this cause only this raining cause so i put a question mark here but if the effect has not taken place then what I say is that there was no cause. 
if I look in terms of a Venn diagram, I have this effect here, which is the ground getting wet. So I write in the bracket wet, which means the ground getting wet. And I can have multiple causes. C1 would be raining. C2 would be because of a bucket of water. C3 can be that there is a pipe open in the ground and that is why it's get it's it's wet. Or C4 can be because of the dew droplets. So all these causes will result in a ground getting wet. So in other words, I have one effect which is the ground getting wet and I can have multiple causes C1, C2 and C3. So this is pretty simple. Let's take another question. If the labor works hard, then the boss is happy. So what is the cause here? This is the cause, the labor working hard. This is the cause. And what is the effect that the boss is happy? So this is the effect. Now, let's do as we did in the previous question. I say that the labor worked hard. So I write L for labor. It means that the boss is definitely happy. So if there is a cause, there is an effect. I say that the labor did not work hard. Will the boss be happy or not? I cannot say. because The boss can be happy because probably he got married. Now, I say that the boss is happy. So the effect has occurred. Does it mean that the labor worked hard? I cannot say that. Maybe the boss had his first child. So that is why he's happy. It's not necess necessary that, you know, the labor worked hard. Now I take the fourth case that the boss is not happy. This definitely means that the labor did not work hard. So again here, if there was a cause, then there was this effect. If there is no cause, then there is, there may be an effect or there might not be an effect. So I put a question mark here. If the effect has occurred, I do not know because of which cause. So it is not important that only because of the labor working hard the boss was happy and if the effect did not take place it is definite that there was no cause none of the causes so obviously this cause also did not happen so again in terms of a venn diagram this bigger circle is for the effect and i can have multiple causes the labor working hard the boss getting married the boss having a child the boss having an increase in revenues, some government policies might be anything. So again, I have one effect and for that I have multiple causes. So the effect, if it has occurred, I cannot say because of which cause has it occurred. But if one of these causes has occurred, the effect will definitely take place. So now in logical consistency questions, you are given a main statement. This is called a main statement followed by four statements. These are the four statements which we discussed. We have to pick a combination of two out of these four statements which are logically correct and are consistent with the main statement. So here this first one and this last one are the statements which we will pick up. So summarizing, I can have many causes but one effect, this is for type one, if when each time whenever and every time so a cause taking place means an effect is taking place this is called straight logic the cause does not take place i don't know whether the effect will take place or not the effect takes place i don't know whether the cause which cause was it definitely one cause but which one is it the one mentioned in the question or not i don't know but the uh, if the effect does not take place the cause definitely did not take place not any of these causes so this is called a straight negation so again with this Venn diagram I have E here and these multiple causes so summarizing in terms of sentences or a paragraph the first takeaway is if the cause occurs effect will happen this is called a sufficient cause that one cause is sufficient for the effect to take place I don't need multiple causes like raining will is a sufficient cause it will make the ground wet effect has happened means one of the causes has occurred not the only cause which is mentioned in the question 
if cause does not occur then effect or may or may not happen we discussed before the ground gets wet it might be because of the rain might be because of the bucket of water effect does not happen means no cause has occurred it means the cause mentioned in the question also has not occurred so this is straight negation now let's look at the second connective here which is only if or only when now pay utmost attention because this is where the confusion is going to start so the type of question is going to be only if p then q or q only if p so for example only if ram runs fast will he reach on time i will meet you only when i come to ludhiana i am born only if my mother is pregnant so the types covered here are only if cause then effect so the cause here is this ram running fast is the cause and the effect is that he will reach on time or effect only when cause so i will meet you this is the effect and what is the cause if i come to ludhiana only when cause then effect this is the third type all of them mean the same the only thing you have to identify is what is the cause here and what is the effect so let's take an example i will meet you only if i come to germany so now me coming to germany is the cause here and meeting you is the effect now let's say that i met you so i represent meeting by this letter m so i met you it means that i definitely came to germany let's say i did not meet you so did i come to germany or not i might have come i came to germany i visited berlin i went to munich attended october fest and went back i didn't see you or i would not have come to germany so both the things are possible so i cannot say that i came to germany or not now let's say i came to germany is it possible that i did not meet you yes it is because as i said earlier i might have come to germany for just a festival and not meeting you so me coming to germany does not necessarily mean that i met you the fourth case i did not come to germany so this means i definitely did not meet you because you are staying in germany then how would i have met you so if we think of it in terms of cause and effect so meeting is the effect and coming to germany is the cause so this means that if the effect has occurred it means the cause has definitely occurred if the effect did not occur i cannot say whether the cause occurred or not then if the cause certainly occurred i cannot say that the effect occurred or not so the cause here is me coming to germany but it does not mean that i met you now if the cause did not occur it means i did not come to germany so the effect will surely not occur it means i definitely did not meet you so if we form a diagram here as in the previous case i have a single cause this is me coming to germany and it has many effects e1 is i went to berlin e2 is i went to munich and attended the oktoberfest e3 is i met you so any of these effects can take place or if i draw a venn diagram here this bigger circle here will now be the cause and i'll have lot many effects here so i have e1 i have e2 i have e3 and similarly i might have e4 and one of these effects is meeting you so this is entirely opposite of what we discussed before let's take another example i am born only if my mother is pregnant so i am being born is the effect here and what is the cause that my mother was pregnant so if i am born i'll write this as b it definitely means that my mother was pregnant now i was not born so my mother would 
could be pregnant or not it might be that she gave birth to my sibling my younger brother or my younger sister so i cannot say that she was pregnant or not now my mother is pregnant does it mean that i will definitely be born no i cannot say that because as i said earlier it might be that i have a younger sibling or an elder sibling if my mother is not pregnant then definitely i cannot be born so again here if the effect has taken place it certainly means that the cause took place if the effect does not take place there may be a cause mentioned in the question or there might be some other cause then if the cause certainly happened i cannot say that the effect took place or not and if there was no cause definitely there was no effect so again i have a single cause and i have many effects e1 e2 and e3 similarly i have this bigger circle here which is the cause and then i have e1 i have e2 and i have e3 so let's summarize i have a single cause and many effects if the cause took place i cannot say the effect took place or not if the cause did not take place the effect certainly did not take place this is called straight negation if the effect took place then the cause certainly took place this is called straight logic in this case and if the effect did not occur the cause might have happened might not have happened and then this is the venn diagram which we drew in the previous slides so if the cause occurs then the effect may or may not happen so this is not a sufficient cause so for me being born my mother being preg pregnant is not a sufficient cause because my brother could be there a younger brother or an elder brother who might be born if the effect has happened cause definitely occurred if the cause does not occur then the effect does not happen i cannot be born without my mother being pregnant effect does not happen then cause may or may not occur cause may occur but effect may not take place as the cause is not sufficient which we discussed in this first case i hope you are through with this if not just replay this lecture from the start till now because i know it's a little confusing topic so let's move to this third type of logical connectives which is if and only if until and unless when and only when this is the case which is nothing but the union of the above two cases which we've discussed and this is the most simplest case the case also refers to the cause being a sufficient and a necessary cause for the effect to take place for example if and only if he wins the race he will get the medal until and unless you study you will pass so for getting the medal you have to win the race this is the only cause and this will definitely result in the effect similarly you will pass only if you study so what is the cause here that you study and what is the effect that you will pass or if you do not study you will not pass so let's take an example if and only if he wins the race will he get the medal so what is the cause here winning the race and getting the medal is the effect so i write a e here and a c here so i represent winning the race by r and getting the medal by m so if he wins the race he definitely gets the medal if he does not win the race he will not get the medal if he get the medal it definitely means that he won the race and if he did not get the medal he did not win the race so these are pretty simple logics so here the cause if it occurs the effect will definitely happen if the cause does not occur the effect will not happen because this is the only cause is a necessary and the sufficient cause the only cause which is required so if the effect occurs it means this only cause had occurred and the effect did not occur then it means that the cause did not occur here if we show with the help of a 
when diagram this C is equal to E the cause and the effect circle are the same because there is just one cause or in other words I have a C and this leads to only one effect one cause and one effect so this is what we discussed C leads to E this is straight logic the cause occurred and the effect happened the cause did not occur and the effect did not happen is straight negation if the effect occurred the cause happened if the effect did not occur the cause did not happen and this is how we represent in the form of a Venn diagram so let's put the summary into words cause occurs and effect happens so this is the sufficient cause effect happens and the cause occurred because this is the only cause I do not have multiple causes cause does not occur means that the effect does not happen as it was the only cause effect does not happen and cause does not occur the only cause mentioned in the question did not happen let's move on to the fourth type of logical connective which is either and or this is a very simple one the type of question would be in the form either P or Q for example either Raman is happy or Raghu is crazy this is premise 1 and this is premise 2 here there is no cause and effect relationship if premise 1 happens like Raman is happy it definitely means that Raghu is not crazy if premise 1 does not happen it means that Raman is not happy it definitely means that Raghu is crazy so one of them is bound to happen So as mentioned in this line below one of them is definitely true and the other one is definitely false let's take an example I drink either tea or coffee so this is the first premise drinking tea and the second premise is drinking coffee so if I drink tea I definitely will not drink coffee if I drink coffee I definitely will not drink tea now if I don't drink tea then I might have coffee or I might not have coffee I it's a possibility that I don't have any of them similarly if I do not drink coffee I cannot say that I have tea or not so this was pretty simple let's move on to the next logical connective which is unless here also we do not have a cause and effect or an effect we have just premise 1 and premise 2 so the type of question is of the type unless P then Q or Q unless P for example unless Dhoni is the captain India will lose the match so how do you interpret this if P1 is true if Dhoni is the captain then India might win the match or might lose the match this generally happens as we see now if Dhoni is not the captain unless is a negative connective if Dhoni is not the captain India will definitely lose the match so if P1 does not occur P2 will definitely occur now if India loses the match like P2 is a tick mark here I cannot say whether Dhoni was the captain or not but if India did not lose the match this P2 is a negative cross here then definitely Dhoni was the captain this unless is not generally asked it's a rarely asked connective so you just need to get through with this one example and then you can solve in the examination let's move to some practice questions P is in the room if Q is not in the hotel so we discussed if the first connective which we discussed now Q is not in the hotel is the cause here like we had the ground gets wet if it rains so raining was the cause here and P is in the room is the effect so what did we discuss in this case that if there is a cause if it rains then the ground will definitely get wet similarly if Q is not in the hotel then P is definitely in the room if the cause does not happen then the effect may or may not happen if the effect happens it might be due to some other cause so I cannot say that the cause mentioned in the question happened but if the effect did not happen certainly none of the causes happened 
or the cause mentioned in the question also did not happen so now which two combination of statements are definitely true what they are asking us is this the first part here which is straight logic and this last part here which is straight negation so cause tick mark and an effect tick mark means that q is not in the hotel and p is in the room so let's see from here q was not in the hotel p was in the room so i'll write the cause first which is q was not in the hotel so d b is a correct option secondly effect does not happen it means that the cause did not happen so what was the effect here p is in the room effect did not happen means p was not in the room so this c here p was not in the room it means that the cause did not happen it means that q i'll put a not and i have to take the negation of this which means q is in the hotel so this is the a part here c a now take note that this sequence also matters d b is not same as b d and c a is not same as a c here d b is the right answer and c a is the right answer because if the cause takes place then the effect take, takes place and if the effect does not take place it means that the cause had not taken place so make sure that this sequence here is correct we'll take another example p is in the room only if q is not in the hotel again this is the effect here this is the type of question when we discuss that i will meet you only if i come to germany and this is the cause here here one cause was leading to many effects if you remember that i could come to germany and attend the october fest go to berlin or meet you so one cause coming to germany and many effects so what was the four statements here that if the cause has taken place i do not know whether the effect has taken place or not it will definitely be one of the effects but the effect mentioned in the question has that occurred or not i cannot say if the cause did not occur like i did not go to germany then the effect certainly did not happen if the effect occurred it means that the cause had occurred i could meet you only if i came to germany and if the effect did not occur i cannot say whether the cause occurred or not so what they are asking here is this question which is a straight negation and sorry this one the third one which is a straight logic so i have to form statements for no cause means no effect and and effect takes place means that the cause had taken place so no cause means the negation of q is not in the hotel it means that q is in the hotel so q was in the hotel leads to no effect it means that p is in the room the negative of this means p is not in the room so q was in the hotel and p was not in the room so the correct option here is a c now here also carefully note that c a is not same as a c a c is the answer here i'll first have a not happening cause leading to a not happening effect what would be the second answer the effect has taken place it means that p is in the room this means that q is definitely not in the hotel so p was in the room which is b it means that q was not in the hotel bd so these are the two conditions that follow that is all on logical consistency i hope you enjoyed this lecture